Hello everyone, it's gonna be a really quick video uh, showing how to set up ESTP with an icon. Uh, my car is the E44-520i so there's not much module to play with. Anyway, just we're gonna start BMW ESTP loader. And because of our, because I'm using icon, uh, I don't need to select or use icon emulator. Just straight to the software. Click on BMW cars. The software takes time to load up. ESAP should find an icon itself automatically, so there's not much uh, settings or whatever, it's just like straightforward. Um, by the way, very important message: your Windows firewall has to be switched off. Okay, we have it. And let's create new session. So click on create new session. Uh, server select is to be server automatically. Click on continue. Yep, just insert select this one and click on connect and it's appears like looking for car details getting information for modules We got a chassis number now. Like I said previously, there's not much module to play with when it comes to my car. I'm just gonna go through all modules, but like I said, there's not many of them. Uh, I don't know, you can adjust EWS and DME. I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna show you how it looks. How it looks like. Click on the arrow. Uh, it is asking me if my transmission is automatic. Yes. And obviously, I'm not gonna start the process of adjustment. I'm just gonna show you how it looks like uh, when it comes to vehicle encoding. This, I can only start encoding my radio, but I'm not gonna do it anyway. So just again show you how menu looks like. Anyway, this uh, video was uh, basically 
showing you how to set up EasterP with an icon. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna play with my modules because first of all, they all working fine and this is an old beamer so there's not much things to play with. So I would say basically that's it. Uh, and uh, it is very easy to set up an icon with uh, EasterP, just straightforward. So thank you for watching video.